Hello, I'm going to show you now how to use my Road Painter tool. First I'm going to assume that you've read the README and you have made in your P drive a folder called Road Painter and in that folder you've put my console program. I've gone a step further and I've made a shortcut to my console program right on my desktop so that I can easily start it up. So. Without further ado, I'm going to start up my console program and you'll see that it says ready to accept input. I'm just going to leave it off to the side for now. And I'm going to start up the road tool which is also detailed on the readme how to install it. So this tool works as a mission. It runs with SQF scripts in the game just like a mission, just like the 3D editor did. So having loaded up the mission, I'm going to press preview and start it up. Okay, and we're in. Now it started the camera at the location of the player, which is uh, of interest if you want to edit a specific portion of the map. So I'm going to explain the GUI a little bit here. It's pretty simple. First there is a area where you can choose which road section you're going to edit, add new road sections, and start and stop editing of those sections. In the future there will also be a delete section, but uh, not for this version right now. So it has first off a list box which contains all of the current sections that are being edited. It has an edit box where you can edit the name to use for a new section. And it has info for the currently selected section which is all blank right now. It has a button to start a new section. And there's a button to make a key part which will essentially allow you, allow you to place a key part just like Visitor does. Then there's a section which will have controls for editing. Right now it only has one control which is automatic radius. Uh, you can either have the tool pick the roads radius to use or you can select it. You'll probably want to leave that on for most of your editing. Last it has a simple export block. First you choose the export folder which defaults to the folder that I pointed you at before p colon backslash road painter and it has two buttons the first one export selected will export the currently selected road section which is blank right now the second button will export all the road sections so I'm gonna get started at drawing a road to show you how it works it's essentially just like visitor first I will place a key part so click on the button the instructions pop up, select the prefix, then select the type. A cross, a T, a straight, or a terminator. I'm going to choose a road type of city, and I'm going to start it off with a terminator. After I click that, the key part appears on the screen, and I can locate it with the mouse. I move around to where I want to start it. Let's put it right at the exit of this hangar, perhaps. Click once to set the position of it. Click, and now it will follow the mouse to set the direction. Click again to set the direction of it. Click. Once it's placed, a blue orb will appear over it, flashing. This indicates key parts. You'll see more of these uh, as I place more key parts. Now that there's a key part to draw from, I can enter in a road section name, which is already entered as R1, and press New Section. The instructions tell me to click on an empty side of a key part to start. So all I have to do is click on the side of this key part in order to start drawing a road there. Click, and I'm good to go. So I'll place a few road sections here. Get out somewhere just for fun. OK, 
Okay, now let's say for any reason I wanted to end the road or put a key part in it. Perhaps I wanted to divide up the road for the uh, smoothing script in Visitor. While still painting, I click on Add Key Part and I add a straight. First, it stops painting the road section then it adds a key part onto the end of it. Now you'll notice that I have a bunch of dots flashing along the, key, the uh, section that I just drew. These simply indicate the selected section in this list box up here. So now that I've placed another key part, I can continue drawing the road by typing in a new section name. The button changes to say new section and I do the same thing all over. Click on new section click where I want to start and start drawing. Click, click and go back for a bit. I can do the same thing. Add key part, straight. Add a new section name, new section. Keep drawing from that point. Keep going, keep going. When I'm done the road, I can add key part, terminator. And that'll place a terminator down at the end of the road. That's about all there is to drawing a road. You'll see that I can select different sections, R1, and it will highlight them. R2, it will highlight it. R3, it highlights it. It also always puts blue dots at the location of the key parts. Now that I'm done drawing my roads, I want to export them. In this case, I'm going to export all roads, so it, will, it should s export all three sections that I've drawn, R1, R2, and R3. And it will put them into this folder under File Names, which match these. So I press the button and I watch the console window. Looks like it tried to do something writing data to this file and it shows you what contents got into the file writing data to R2 writing data to R3 I bring up the folder and there they are R1, R2, R3 just like that now if I wanted to put these in visitor I would start off by placing a key part in Visitor as close as I could to the location of this one and then you'd simply import the road pieces in the same order. That's about all there is to show for this version of the tool. I hope that it helps somebody and I hope that I can uh, improve it further in the future.